now we are going to discuss certain rare tumors of the cervix and amongst that adenosquamous carcinoma of cervix this tumor is seen in women of all ages risk factors smoking multiple sexual partners and low socioeconomic status it is less common than adenocarcinoma gross appearances it presents as polypoid endocervical mass histological features it is poorly differentiated squamous cell carcinoma which is intermingled with high grade adenocarcinoma intracytoplasmic and luminal mucin usually present in the glandular component immunohistochemistry cea is positive in adenocarcinoma mucin is positive if present treatment and prognosis is very similar to that of invasive cervical carcinoma now this is the photograph which shows microscopic features of the adenosquamous carcinoma of the cervix now you can see dark black arrow which is pointing towards the gland which is neoplastic showing that it is lined by pleomorphic cells with hyperchromatic to vesicular nuclei and these endocervical glands which are neoplastic are lying back to back against each other with very little intervening stroma then there is a yellow arrow with black borders show the squamous component which is neoplastic and that is present in between the neoplastic glandular component so the tumor is called adenosquamous carcinoma of the cervix the next tumor is glassy cell carcinoma of cervix it is rare and unique variant of adenocarcinoma of the cervix and it is poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma of the cervix this tumor is reported in the third and fourth decade of life the prognosis is worse than squamous cell carcinoma gross appearances they present as bulky exophytic masses histological features there are invasive sheets and nests of cells with thin intervening fibrovascular septa there are large polygonal uniform cells with distinct borders these cells have large nuclei with prominent nucleoli they have fine granular eosinophilic ground glass cytoplasm minimal keratinization may be present rare glands contain mucin and intracytoplasmic mucin is also rarely present there is high mitotic activity in addition there is a prominent eosinophilic and lymphoplasmocytic inflammatory response immunohistochemistry mucin can be focally positive cea can also be focally positive prognosis is worse than that of squamous cell carcinoma glassy cytoplasm is because of dilated endoplasmic reticulum and abundant tono filaments which are seen by electron microscopic examination it is listed as adenocarcinoma grade 3 or glassy cell now this is a photograph showing glassy cell carcinoma of cervix you can well appreciate that there are light colored cells which are shown by yellow arrow with black borders and they have got distinct cell borders now there is a mitotic figure which is shown by red circle and surrounded by there are neoplastic cells and lymphoplasmocytic infiltration the other tumor is small cell carcinoma of cervix or we can say poorly differentiated neuroendocrine carcinoma of the cervix it is an uncommon tumor it is seen in women in the third and fourth decade of life it is an aggressive tumor may manifest para endocrine syndromes gross appearances it often present as an ulcerating tumor histological features it is highly cellular tumor it is composed of sheets of tightly packed small cells with minimal cytoplasm and round to spindle shaped nuclei there is smudged chromatin with inconspicuous 
nucleoli. However, there are few scattered large pleomorphic cells. Mitotic activity is brisk. Vascular space invasion is frequently identified. Squamous or glandular differentiation makes up less than 10% of the tumor volume. Now, morphologically, it is similar to the small cell carcinoma of the lung. And a very important viva question is, the etiological factor is high-risk human papilloma virus, which is not in the case of small cell carcinoma of the lung. Immunohistochemistry, cytokeratin positive, chromogranin positive in about 50% of the tumors, synaptophysin and non-specific anolase, they are positive in significant number of tumors, serotonin and somatostatin, rarely positive. Treatment and prognosis, treatment is radical hysterectomy with removal of bilateral pelvic and periaortic lymph nodes, radiation therapy if lymph node metastases are present, aggressive tumor with frequent recurrence and poor survival rate. The distant metastases are common. Now, this is the photograph showing microscopic features of small cell carcinoma of the cervix. There is a black arrow pointing towards the ectocervix, whereas the red arrow with black borders pointing towards the small cell carcinoma of the cervix in which the cells contain hyperchromatic nuclei, scanty cytoplasm, and these cells are present in sheets and they appear to be tightly packed. Now, why I am discussing these rare tumors of cervix with you? The reason is that you may not get SCQ, but you can get MCQ from this portion. And moreover, you can be asked in the viva the etiology of small cell carcinoma of the lung and small cell carcinoma of the cervix.